Robin Allison here. Behind me, I have 331 Split Branch Road in the Lenox at Buckhead East. This is a Richardson floor plan. I'm gonna take you on a tour of the inside. This home is 2466 square feet. We've got five bedrooms and four bathrooms. Let's take a look. I do wanna let you know also this community is almost sold out. There's only 10 lots left. They're doing some great specials right now on a number of homes in the neighborhood. I believe this one and two others. They're offering as low as 4.99% interest rates with their preferred lender. Two car garage. This is hardy plank siding. Nice large front porch. in you will see the beautiful staircase there is a coat closet right here in the entry hall updated lighting let's take a walk down the hallway here you'll find the half bath framed mirrors and updated lighting. We've got nice plank flooring. Bright white kitchen, big island. Family room space, ceiling fan already here in the family room. Quartz countertops in the kitchen. Stainless steel appliances. Big sink. Imagine cooking dinner, doing dishes here, and looking out into your family over there in the family room. This is a cool feature that I love about this house. We have a little pass-through that's included with a butler's pantry. Think of all the different things you could use that space for. We have a big pantry here. And then we have a formal dining room. So this does circle back around to the front where the staircase is. And walk over here and check out this downstairs room. So this would make a good office, small bedroom if needed, but would certainly make a good office. In addition to the half bath downstairs, there is a full bathroom down here with a nice big walk-in shower. The shower, I do wanna point out that this is upgraded. This does not have the border on here. It is just glass and the shower is tile. Got that same quartz in here in the bathroom. Outside. This yard does come complete with sod and irrigation. And we've got a beautiful covered porch out here. Easily to screen in, easy to screen in if you want. This is a good size lot. Goes back all the way to the tree line and they did sod the entire thing. you in the garage. It's a two-car garage. Looks to be a pretty deep one and it does have a little bit of extra space right here too to give you just a little bit more length for a car. Let's head on upstairs. All right, up here at the top of the stairs. Find one of the bedrooms. 
Has a nice little nook in there for a desk or a dresser. There is a bathroom here with dual vanities. A linen closet in the hallway. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. There's a small little area here in the loft hallway where you could put a little reading nook or a desk or something. This is going to be the primary suite. It has a tray ceiling. It's a good size room. Could definitely fit a king size bed there or on that wall with plenty of room for furniture. Hang on into the master suite. We've got that dual vanity, a linen closet, and a nice big shower, just like we saw downstairs. The walk-in closet. laundry room complete with a folding station which is also in that beautiful quartz and cabinets above the washer dryer which is a great feature and then we've got the bonus room so not technically a bedroom but this is a great size room it could be used for all kinds of things playroom office Welcome to the Victor floor plan by Mungo Homes in Lenox at Buckhead East. This home is almost 2,900 square feet, five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. The primary bedroom is downstairs. 283 Split Branch Drive is one of the homes included in the 4.99 financing for qualified buyers. You will find a beautiful dining room to the left. Notice the coffered ceilings as well as this cool light fixture. In the entryway, we do have a double door coat closet. Passing down the hallway a little bit more, we're going to walk into the kitchen, which is pretty amazing. We've got, it's not a double oven, this is the microwave on the top, oven on the bottom, separate cooktop with a very cool fan hood at the top. We have a nice big island, lots of storage, and a big sink. And a little nook for bar stools and people to sit here at the island. Breakfast nook with a bay window. The large family room. Now this is gonna be walking into the primary suite here. I do love that it's got a little separate area with an archway. This is the primary suite.
into the bathroom. There are windows up here. I do want to point out those windows above are frosted glass. They are not clear glass. So nobody's going to be peeking in your bathroom from the house next door. The framed mirror is a very nice touch. Check this out. You don't often see these standalone tub. Tiled shower. This is a beautiful tile. I'm gonna show you the detail. I don't know if you can see the gold in there, but there's kind of some gold flecks in the tile. This is also a nice frameless door point that out that it doesn't have the frame. It does have a frame on this side, but here the door itself doesn't have the frame on it. That's a nice upgraded shower door. Master closet. We also have some showing over here. I'll show you behind here, there's some additional shelving. It's a nice use of space. Before I head out to the rest of the house, I'm going to show you this covered back porch. So the back porch is covered. Got a ceiling fan out there already. This could be easily screened in if that's something that you would choose to do. Have a nice little section of your yard over here. And it does back up to a wooded area, so it's going to be nice and private. Big storage closet under the staircase. Laundry room conveniently downstairs on the same level as the master bedroom. Come on in here because I don't want you to miss what they've added in here. They've added a whole cabinet system and a countertop in the laundry room. Across the hall from the laundry room is a half bath. Again, with a framed mirror. I'm gonna head out to the garage. Got a two car garage here. Water heater is in the garage. Garage door opener already installed. Now let's head on upstairs. There is wood tread on the stairs, beautiful railings. Nice big window at the top of the island or the landing, I should say. Start here to the right, and we've got bedroom number one. Well, bedroom number two. Facing the front of the house. Got the double closet. Bedroom three. Same size double closet in here. And then I do want to point out that this home is already wired for ceiling fans. This one operates the light and the other switch that's here will operate the ceiling fan when you decide to install one. Bedroom four here. Definitely has a slightly larger closet, has a walk-in with 
a window in it. In addition to that, we've got some attic storage. Not a whole lot of space, but it's nice that they didn't hide this. You could definitely fit a few bins in here for storage without having to go up to the upstairs attic. Same on this side. So that's a nice little feature that they didn't just close that off. Where's the light? There it is. Okay, in the hall bathroom, we have dual vanities with a beautiful quartz countertop. Again, those framed mirrors, which really make a nice addition. Just cleans it up a little bit. Good size bathtub. Got a little linen closet out here. And then on into the fifth bedroom. Another thing I wanna point out here is that in every bedroom, there is one of these vents. It's not meant for you to put a filter in. You can put a filter in it if you'd like, and they actually do have little filters in these. But the point of that is, I don't know if you've ever been in a house where the air conditioning kicks on and the doors all slam. Um, this is gonna prevent that because it allows the air to flow from room to room easily. You can see another one there. They're in each bedroom. And then we've got the third full bath, which also has the dual vanities. So it actually looks almost identical to the one that's at the end of the hallway, but there's two of these upstairs. Now for an added bonus, you get a bonus room. So not only does it have five bedrooms, but it has a bonus room. There's no closet in this room, so it's not considered a bedroom, but it's a nice big space that you can use. And more walk-in attic space. Let me see if there's a light in here. Um, I don't see a light, but there's a lot of walk-in attic space in here. You could put all kinds of storage in there and never have to pull down those pesky pull down attic stairs, which you do have. I'm sure there's storage up there, but why use it if you don't need to?